Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. If you can, click the like button and drop a comment. It makes a massive, massive difference. It helps the videos to get pushed to more people. Check out Foot Trading. Again, if you sub over there, you'll make millions of coins with the buying and selling prices for every single card on this game. We've got guys in the Discord now doing 15, 20 million coins, which is insane. And you'll get our crafting area where I teach you how to craft every single SPC on this game, basically. All right? But... There is, um, we've now got the Team of the Year crafting upgrade. It came back the other day, um, and it is a good upgrade um, in general, okay? What I don't really get is the need for the rare player. It's bizarre to me that we've got a rare player in there. It's 377 rated cards and above, which is decent, um, so you get at least a bit better rating on it, which is fine. How do we go about crafting it? Well, it's pretty simple, really. Um, it just comes down to a bit of bronze pack. Now, it does depend how quickly you want to get this sorted, okay? But essentially, opening up a set of bronze packs um, with a couple of times probably gets this completed over the course of the time that it's here for, okay? Other part of this is obviously the Mixed League upgrade. We've talked about this till the death now, so I'm not going to go over that in great detail. But essentially... Completing the Mixed League upgrade costs you about 8 to 9k if you get the players on bid. Really, really simple. These two packs are tradable. You get back 4 to 5k from them. So for basically the equivalent of about 4k, maybe 5k, you get these four packs here. You get a small rare gold players pack. And you get the team of the year uh, crafting upgrade that you get basically from the gold players that are untradable. You use in this, okay? It's really, really simple. It's a really simple method. Um, and you'll get them all completed. Now, outside of that, really simple ways to get the Team of the Year crafting upgrades um, done overall, okay? It requires one rare, requires 10 commons, okay? Daily gold upgrade is going to be your friend here, okay? Open up bronze packs. I can't stress this enough. Open up as many bronze packs as you possibly can do. All you're going to do um, is the standard bronze packs that everyone opens up. Um, I'm not going to open these guys up right now because I can't go to them or to go to the store instead. Where are we? Let me go browse. Casso packs. These bronze packs here, I'm not going to sit there and open one up because I'm unassigned anyway at the moment. But you open these up, okay? Now, there is so much selling at the moment on this game because of the evolutions, okay? It is pretty much impossible to lose coins even if you're selling the cards as you go, okay? Even if you're selling them as you go. So just check the price of everything. There are so many random cards that are selling for like 5k, managers, all that sort of stuff. I'd say open up maybe 40 to 50 K's worth. Um, if you want to put that into monetary value, um, into, sorry, pack value, it's difficult because I go to, I get duplicates basically. But 40 to 50 K is probably the best place to, to explain it. Because what that's going to do is it's going to stack your club, club up for multiple reasons, okay? It's going to stack your club up to basically mean that you can use those bronze players in this mixed league upgrade nice and cheap. You're going to sell everything that sells, but you're going to keep anything you get from these SBCs here, okay? So Libertadores, so the Americana players are going to stay. Serie B and Bundesliga are going to stay. The MLS and EFL Championship, you can sell those guys, but you can use a few of them in, in this SBC, but you can sell those. Um, but that's going to help you complete that. But moreover, you can each day go to the Daily Silver and the Daily Bronze upgrade, and all you've got to do is put in one silver player to get 11, or it might be 12 actually, back in return. The same as the bronze, okay? Only got to put one bronze in to get those back in return. And that means you're going to get the daily gold upgrade completed twice for essentially two silvers and two bronzes, okay? That's really, really cheap. That's enough to complete the Team of the Year crafting upgrades twice because you get 11 players, one rare, straight into the Team of the Year crafting upgrade. Really, really simple. Um, and you can then just repeat that by using other golds, other sorry, other bronzes into silvers to upgrade these guys here if you really want to. So you've got the premium bronze upgrade, premium silver upgrade if you want to. I would just premium bronze upgrade here. I wouldn't bother going to golds at this moment in time. Um, and you can put those guys, once you get those, throw the silvers into daily gold upgrade with the bronzes you've already packed. Bada bing, bada boom. Four team leader crafting upgrades a day for such little work. Such little work. Now there's 24 days left on it. So four a day, 24 days, there's nearly 100 of them completed, okay? You're then able to just complete them as you go throughout the month with any other random SBCs that come along in the game. If you're doing the Mixed League method, which I've told you guys to do a million and one times before, if you're doing the Mixed League method, then 
you should just be able to compete as a standard. Every time you compete in mixed league, you should be able to get done a team year crafting upgrade. So you're basically getting that for free. Because the team year crafting upgrade's coming in at 4.8k anyway, on average. That's what the price is coming in at, 4.8k. 4.8k gets you that team year crafting upgrade and five other packs. So you should be using the mixed league method if you've not used it before. Um, for those of you that haven't seen that method before, it's in previous videos, it does help massively, okay? I do just want to say something though, right? This team of the year has been woeful. Absolutely woeful. There has been a lot of content. Fine, I'll give you that. And I've been a big advocate of the content this year from EA. But the pack weight on these team of the years, and even on the honourable mentions, is ridiculously low. Like, I know most people haven't packed one. Now, I get team of the year cards are supposed to be the pinnacle up until tots. I understand that. Um, and that's just part and parcel of how life goes. They shouldn't be this hard to pack, in my opinion. Add to that, yes, we've got a couple of really good icon SPCs in Best and Sawa, for example. But this Modric is a horrendous SPC. This Dabinia's pretty average. I mean, five star, five stars, nice. Pace is good. Shooting's decent. Passing's good without being incredible. Dribbling's nice. Stamina's good. Like, it's a decent card. She's not overly expensive, so that's okay. Is anyone really putting Dabinia in their team at the moment? No, I don't think so, realistically. The 82 plus times 20 is okay, but again, it's just a fodder sink. It's not really going to get you much. You'd be, you'd be lucky to get something from it. And I look at the rest of it, and I'm just like, it is just Club Drain. Now, I knew we'd get Club Drain, and we all knew we'd get Club Drain, but to have the weight so low, it doesn't really matter that there's Club Drain there because the chances are you're not going to pack someone. I've had a couple of days off streaming now, purely because I'm worn out by it. I sit there and I open up 400 packs that I've crafted, and I'm just like, this is boring because I've got a Trent on all mentions and a Silver. It is luck, 100%. Completely understand, it is luck. But the chance of getting something from these packs this year seems to be lower than any other year. And I really think it's harming, harming the game quite badly. These duplicate exchanges are good. They're great. But there's nowhere really to put in 83s and 84s. And then even today, they've gone and dropped a new SBC. Where is it? The new Team of the Year League's player pick dropped today. And it requires an 85 rated team. They haven't solved the issue of where 83s and 84s go outside of the 83 plus team of the week pick. They haven't solved that issue and we're now near the end of the promo. People are just throwing 83s and 84s into random places. They could have easily made them a duplicate pick and it could have just been a two rare gold players pack and a four rare gold players pack. You easily could have done that. But instead, they didn't. They just gave us the content they wanted to give us. I don't think there's ever been a team of the year where everyone is as disenfranchised as they are with this team of the year. Like, I genuinely don't think there's ever that. I've opened up hundreds and hundreds of packs. And it's not even just that I'm not getting team of the year. It's fine. Again, like I say, hard to pack. The weight in general just seems so ridiculously low that I'm not even getting high-rated cards full stop. Like, I'm seeing people do things on Twitter with their fodder and stuff like that. And they're, put, they're doing 100 packs and showing everyone what they've got. And they're getting, like, 188. 287s and the rest 86s and 85s like and 84s the pack weight has been dropped so far down that even doing SBCs you're not getting the fodder to complete players and people are complaining about it left right and center I don't really know what EA do in this situation but I will say it is pretty bad the store pack endemic epidemic is getting ridiculous at this point everything is geared towards you opening packs in store I implore you not to do it because you can just craft 150 packs like I've just shown you and you don't need to spend your money on this game. It's it's ridiculously stupid to, to give this company any more money when they show time and time again they don't really care that much. Um, but yeah, that's Team of the Year. That's how you craft the Team of the Year crafting upgrade. It's really, really simple. I'd use the Mixed League upgrade method if I were you guys. But if you can't be asked to do that, just do bronze packs. Really easy. You can use the bronze packs, upgrade everything, get them completed daily. By the end of the year, the whole run, you'll have them all completed and basically get all the extra bits to come with it too. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notification turn on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. Speak to you soon.